This video is for my friend Colin in India, but I think anybody can benefit it from it because it's a video on how to do the first command of the seven commands of Christ in our Jesus Up and In Out series using the T for T training for trainers format. First command is testify, and the command comes out of Mark 16, 15, which says, And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. So the command is go and preach the gospel. The method that we're going to use in this particular Bible study is a testimony or testifying. So we come to the first third of our Bible study. And in the first third, looking back, we begin with member care. Each person asks how they are doing. Now, usually what I do is I just take the first 10 minutes of any given meeting and just let people mingle. And it's very natural for people to talk about how they're doing in the week. So just take the first 10 minutes and then spend a little bit of time in prayer and worship. And then loving accountability. Now, if this is your first meeting, you're going to skip this part, but never skip it again because it's a very important part of the process. So loving accountability is very important. Then you come to vision casting. And vision casting has two parts, Jesus up in and out and the multiplication strategy. Now, Jesus up in and out is just a simple way to talk about the DNA for Christian living. So Jesus came to earth not only to die for our sins, but to show us how to live in the kingdom. And he points us up to the Father by commanding us to love God with our heart, soul, and mind. And then he says, love our neighbor as ourself. We have two types of neighbors those who are in the family of God, those who are outside the family of God. For those inside the family, we love them the way Jesus loved us. And for those who are outside the family of God or outside the kingdom, we love them by sharing Jesus with them and giving them an opportunity to enter his kingdom. Jesus up, in, and out. Very simple way to express the kingdom DNA. And then our multiplication strategy is we want people to start groups as soon as they're competent and confident to do so. So would, they would take this very Bible study and start a group in their home or somebody else's home, reaching their relational network. So they only need to see this Bible study one time and then they can go out and reproduce it. That's our multiplication strategy. We'll talk about other ways to talk about how to reproduce and start a movement, but that's basically it. People can start their own Bible studies immediately. Now we come to the second third of looking up. This is the new lesson or discussion. Today what we're going to do is we're going to tell the story of the demoniac in Mark 5, 1 through 20. Once you tell the story, then someone reads Mark 5, 1 through 20. So a person is prepared beforehand on how to tell this story. They tell the story, and then somebody reads it. And then we take them through the process of head, heart, and hands. Head, heart, and hands is a very simple way to analyze the Bible study. Head is a summary and the facts. Heart is the emotions found in the story and personal emotions of the people in the discussion. Hands is the response. What will you do as a result of hearing and discussing this story? So head. First you have someone summarize the story. Now what's neat about this is somebody has told the story, somebody has read the story, and now someone is summarizing the story. So basically, you've heard the story three times. And now we want to talk about the facts. And so you would ask a generic question like, what did you learn from this story? 
And then you want to ask some very specific questions, and we've given you an example of these specific questions right here. What does the man desire to do when Jesus enters his life? And what does Jesus tell him to do? Those are very important questions because it's going to get after what we're looking for from the story and its application. Then we go to heart and the emotions. We want to ask questions like, what was Jesus feeling when he first encountered the demoniac? What was the demoniac feeling when he first encountered Jesus? What was the demoniac feeling when he was delivered from all the demons? And we just walk through the feelings or emotions of the different characters in the story. But the punchline is, how does this story make you feel personally? So we ask that of the group, and people will tell you how they feel as a result of the story. Then we move to hands, the response or application. And we want to be very specific in application, and we've got some recommended questions here. Do you want Jesus to control your life uh, the way that the demoniac let Jesus control his life? Or are you willing to share your story like the pneumoniac did? And then you make a list in this particular Bible study. You're going to make a list of people you want to share your story with. And you aim for 20 people. These are people in your relational network. Then we come to the final third of the Bible study. The first thing we're going to do is practice. So explaining the 111 method. The 111 method is a way to share your testimony. It's one story in one minute with one question. Now, here it says write out your story on a half sheet of paper. What I've found is best is you just tell people to think of two words that would describe their life before Jesus and two words that would describe your life after they started following Jesus. And then you put Jesus, the cross, and the uh, fact that Jesus is now their king, their boss, in the middle of those two sets or two, two sets of words. Uh, let me just give you an example at the end of what this looks like. And then you have them share in one minute or less. And you actually practice, go around having each person practice sharing their story. And at the end, they're going to ask one question. Do you want Jesus to call the shots in your, in your life? Or would you want Jesus to be your king, your master, your boss? So let me give you an example, and I'll do this in less than one minute. When I was a young man, I joined the army and I became a paratrooper and I was scared to death of jumping out of airplanes. So I made a deal with God. I would go to church every Sunday if he opened my parachute. And I did. And one Sunday, this man came up to me at the back of church and said, why are you coming to church? And I said, because I made a deal with God. And he said, that's okay, but do you know that Jesus died for your sins on a cross and that if you receive him into your life, he will forgive you of your sins, and he wants you to surrender your life to him as your king. He wants you to turn from your selfish ways and turn to his ways. And so I did that, and he gave me courage and peace. Not only did he give me courage to jump out of the airplanes, but he gave me courage and peace for the rest of my life. Would you like Jesus to give you courage and peace and to be the king or boss of your life? I just shared my story. It's one story in one minute with one question at the end to give the person the opportunity to receive Jesus. Then we're going to do goal setting and prayer. The goal setting is up in and out. The goals for up and in is continue to follow Jesus and return for fellowship and training next week. The out goal is very important. We pray and ask the Holy Spirit 
to lead us to select five people and share our story with those people this week and aim at sharing your story with five people. So that's the goal or assignment and then you would pray and that would be the end of the session. I usually take about 60 to 90 minutes to do this depending on the discussion during the second third will determine how long it is. Be careful not to use up all your time in the first third. And I'll do another video that talks about the different parts of this Bible study.